In the latest episode of The Bad Batch, the clones traveled to the planet Bracca. Fans of the video game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will have been familiar with it already, but if you've never played it, here's a quick rundown on the planet's purpose, history, and wildlife. Located in the mid-rim of the galaxy, Bracca was a junkyard planet littered with the remains of ships and starfighters whose own usefulness had worn out. In the days, months, and years following the Clone Wars, many Venator-class Star Destroyers were brought to the planet to be torn apart, salvaged, and repurposed for the new Galactic Empire. An organization called the Scrapper Guild oversaw operations there and was broken into three groups of specialization, cutters, hazmats, and riggers. Cutters worked the high-powered lasers that would dismantle the ships, hazmats worked in the most dangerous and toxic environments, and riggers performed salvage in the most difficult-to-reach areas. Unfortunately, the workers of the Scrapper Guild were mostly stuck on Bracca. Any credits they earned for their labor were taken by the Guild to cover food and lodging, so it was glorified indentured servitude. It's unclear if the organization operated in a different manner before the rise of the Empire, but it's at least been mentioned that the pay was better under the Republic. The Guild was around well after the Empire's fall as well, and was seen working under the First Order to now decommission and repurpose New Republic ships. A covert resistance mission traveled to Bracca after the Battle of Crate to commandeer any usable starfighter or capital ship they could find. It's difficult to tell exactly what kind of planet Bracca was since it was so covered in junked ships, but we do know about some of the wildlife that lived there. Scrap rats were seen in the Bad Batch, they made their homes among the rusted remains of any debris they could find, or they would fashion nests out of loose wiring. Members of the Scrapper Guild were warned not to feed the creatures. The Bad Batch also showed us that at least one Dianoga lived on the planet, but I wouldn't be surprised to learn that more were brought to Bracca to help dispose of any remaining organic matter found on the ships, which is a grim thought, but that's what the Dianoga in the Death Star's trash compactor was meant to do. But the most notable creature on Bracca was the Ibdis Maw. It was similar in many ways to a Sarlacc, or a very large Dianoga. It was unclear to the Scrapper Guild, but many theorized that its several mouths were connected by one large digestive system that extended beneath the planet's surface. It fed on the metal wreckage of the starships left there, as well as any member of the Guild unfortunate enough to fall in. Now I'm completely speculating, but I heard this idea posed on Force Center podcast, and I think it's a neat one. Maybe Dianogas are a kind of creature that can continue growing to fill whatever space it lives in. I think it would be cool if the Ibdis Maw were one large being that continuously grew, and other Dianogas could join with it to form a new mouth on a new area of the planet, so eventually the entire surface would be covered in these massive mouths. Probably not, but I think it's a fun idea. Anyway, that's all we know about Bracca right now, thanks to its appearances in The Bad Batch, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and the novel Resistance Reborn. It's a cool place, and I really loved the way they used it in the game and the show specifically to symbolize the Republic being torn down and reforged into the Empire. But like Rex tells Hunter, just because the Republic is gone, you can still fight for what it stood for. Its ideals can't be destroyed. It looks like the clones will remain on Bracca for at least part of the next episode of the series, so I'll be interested to see if any more features of the planet appear, like the Maw, but we'll have to wait and see. Until then, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all our Bad Batch coverage, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.